Nine, hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing the Hourly Bullet Arena seven, on leechess.org. Countdown to zero, we're ready to roll. Three, it's uh, about two, 10 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock p.m. U.S. Zero. Central Time. 20 players in. I didn't get a chance to tweet this much in advance. I did send a tweet, but it was real last minute. Uh, so apologies for that, but this should be a fun tournament nonetheless. Russell Hans is the first opponent. Is he going to make a move? I'm not going to berserk him. He did not move, so we won. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got a quick two points. Looks like a couple other people did too. Someone said, I'm afraid. I don't know if they're afraid of me or not, but <laughs> don't be afraid, San Wagaro. It's just a game. Okay, let's berserk this game. It'll be fun. I'm going to play a modern regardless of what he does. So G6, move one. Oh, come on. This guy won the first game. He's got to be around. He is. Okay, we're playing uh, like a Sicilian. Let's see if he actually plays queen f3 and goes for uh, a scholar's mate. If so, knight c6 would be a huge blunder, so I'm just hovering the knight. I'm not pre-moving it. <laughs> I'm going to try to go for d5, so that's the purpose of this setup. If bishop e3, I fork him with d4, so he's got to avoid that. Let's go knight into d4. This looks pretty good for us. He'll take here with check, most likely. Actually, no. Okay, maybe knight f5 next move. Especially now, because after he takes, we'll be discovered attacking his queen. If the queen moves somewhere, like... Uh, okay. thought I might have a chance at winning d3, but... Okay, this looks excellent, though. We get our bishop into d3. Um, let's just double up on the e-file. Maybe bring the queen in all the way to e2. Oh, I missed bishop e2 on the previous move. Let's do it now. It's probably still good. Bring the queen into e4. Not quite sure what I'm accomplishing there, but it looks good. <laughs> That's a bullet in a nutshell. Not quite sure what it is, but it looks good, so you go with it. I am assuredly playing for the flag right now, but we have a good position nonetheless, because look at his bishop on b1. It's completely out of the game. So I'm just going to go here and try to win this pawn. What can he do? I mean, he's going to lose b2. Uh, okay, actually, that was a good move. <laughs> I didn't see that he could play that one. I'm still going to try to keep his bishop in cage. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, let's play a6 and b5, just get our pieces up here. Unless he really hustles, he's not going to beat me on the clock here. All right, so we went on time. Five points, 23 players are in. Let's tell uh, Colin hello. He said fins. Talaguito is the next opponent. Um, let's play Let's play a little b6 action, a little queenside fianchetto. How about that? Throw in h6. Bet you didn't see that coming, dude. Nah, you probably did. Okay, he's going to take now. Um, let's play c5 after this. So I have the bishop pair. He has the center. I think rook g8 coming. Attacking g2 looks pretty good. Let's take and then play knight c6. Oh, wait. Actually, this pawn's hanging. I can just take that. Looks like an important pawn. Hmm, he does not castle queenside. I thought he might do that. All right, let's take here. Play knight b4, go after this guy. a6, maybe? Bishop a4, I'll play b5. Hmm, that was not a good counterattack, though, because he can't take due to the rook hanging on uh, the square. So, okay, let's just go attack that queen. Hmm, we can chase him again. Uh, he's still pinned, so let's just let that sit for a second. If he moves the rook, then I'll move the knight back to a6. So up a piece, looking good. Bishop d6, maybe king e7, rook g8 next move. Oh, that's clever. I didn't see that idea. Shouldn't be too big of a deal, though. Mm, okay, let's go here. If he trades his knight on f3, he'll be under attack. On pre. Let's take and then play king e7. Mm, didn't take back. So he's way down on time now, and he's down a piece. So I think Talagito's days are numbered. I'm trying to go knight b3. He lets me. All right, let's just take. And this is a mere formality at this point. Give a check and push this pawn. Yeah, we'll get a queen. Not worried about stalemating him because, uh, well, 
Let's checkmate. But he has a pawn remaining, a4, that he could always play. So we have nine points, plenty of time remaining. I don't think I recognize anyone in the top 10 here. Maybe like one player I recognize. Oh, can I still Berserk? I'm gonna, oh, I can't Berserk anymore. <laughs> I mean it to Berserk against Juggly, 1395. Well, we'll have to win the old fashioned way or at least try. Let's play d5, attempt to block this Bishop out of the game. That's the point of this. Maybe e4. Knight coming into d4 looks strong. Get this knight into c6. Ooh, we hung the queen. Bye-bye, queen. I'm going to go f4 next move. h3 was played to control the g4 square, just so you couldn't put a minor piece in there. Um, probably doesn't matter too much. Okay, let's just do this anyways. He has knight d3, but actually, I'm just going to... Even if knight d3, I was thinking about playing bishop f1 and pinning that bishop on a6. So up a queen, we should be winning fairly easily. Let's see if he takes here. Obviously, we're going to welcome further trades. Um, let's just go queen here. Ooh, actually, he has knight takes d5. He didn't see it, though. Let's look for... Ooh, we hung the rook. This guy's playing not bad, but he's hanging stuff. Case in point, bishop takes d7. May e5 next move. I'll just play for mate on g6. Queen g6 coming. Okay, back to tournament. 13 points. I'm pre-recording some content because I'm going to be away in uh, Tucson, Arizona. For a week, I'm teaching at the Western Invitational Chess Camp, which is a camp that I've taught at for... I think the past three or four years now, it's run by one of my friends, uh, FIDE Master Robbie Adamson. So I'm going out there, um, way in the, southern, in the southern U.S., in the desert, Tucson, Arizona. It's always a good time, so I look forward to it every year. But yeah, I'm pre-producing some content. Can I take this pun? I think I can. Um, so you might catch me on here in the next couple days just playing a bunch. Just recorded a bunch of Blitz and Standard games, and I'm doing the same for Bullet. Okay, so we're up a pawn against Mr. Russell. It's good that we're playing him again because he did step away um, for something he didn't play in that first game that we had played him in. I'm attacking f4 and c3, he should probably play bishop d2. Okay, he didn't, so we can grab that pawn. Maybe we can grab a2 next move? I don't see why not. He can take a7 now, but maybe knight c2. Yeah, let's do knight c2. Let's see if he swaps here. And we can take his bishop. Let's give a check. Maybe bishop c5, hitting this pawn behind it. Rook b1, take aim against the b3 pawn. Okay, just guard there. I think g5 next move could be good. Grab that pawn. Give a check. Yeah, we'll play g5, just create some space. Then I can do like a discovered attack check and then pick up this pawn on b3. Pawns galore. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring this up. Maybe bishop d6 next move. That way if this knight moves, we have uh, bishop takes g3 check. I guess I can pre-move this too. Ooh, we can do a check here. Let's keep him trapped in. Can barely move. I just want to um I want to play bishop d3 at the right time, but now I can pick up his knight, so. Alright, so we won that game back to tournament. 17 points. Terrible Joker. 1564, but doing good work. He lost his first game, but now he's won a bunch in a row. Yeah, I think Singularitus is the only guy I recognize in this tournament. Aurora chess. Let's berserk this game just for fun. 1742. If he moves the knight, okay, I have a little tactic. Take on f2, and then I can take d3. This is the point. Win a pawn. Pick up a pawn. Okay, let's save that light square bishop. A little dancing back and forth, but I think it's all right. 
This pawn looks like a goner. Mm hmm. It's a castle short. Okay, we'll take and then take on e5. That's the plan. Hmm, lets me win the rook. 15 seconds. Can I win this endgame? I would hope so. Uh, let's let's sack a pawn to get into d2. I think it's worth it. He didn't even take on e5, interestingly enough. Okay, now we double up. We can get into e2. We're threatening mate in a few. Okay, let's make this easy on ourselves. Just bring our king up. He can't go anywhere with the king. So you can come back and try to stop this pawn, but it's pretty futile. Futile. Yeah, and then we can just mosey our king on up and checkmate him. Alright, back to tournament. So got that Berserk win. That helped. Pumped us up to a six-point lead. Feedback Please says, I told myself I'd pause playing Bullet because it's not helping my chess. Yeah, if you're trying to improve, Bullet Chess is like not the best. It's really not. I mean, it's not good even if you're uh, not if you're just trying to maintain your level. Uh, it's not good, but it's not like harmful, I would say. Uh, I'm kind of of the opinion that like fast time control games, Blitz, Bullet, what have you, um, it's still chess at the end of the day. And yes, it's not like as serious as standard chess by any means. But it's better than doing nothing. So I think this guy berserked me actually, Rufiano. You are brave, sir. You're very brave. I'm up a piece against him right now, but he's pu putting up stiff resistance. Wow, he's gonna take that pawn. Okay. Let's see if he evacuates the bishop. I'm gonna go knight here. Are my knights kind of stuck? Hopefully not. Bring this in. He has c4 though. It's kind of clever. Hmm. This guy's not half bad. He can take b5. Okay, let's force a trade. All right. Well, <laughs> good game, Rufiano. That was a brave berserking. Up to 39 players. Oh, hello, Nacho Soto. I know you follow me on Twitter. You probably watch my videos. I take it too. Uh, pack attack. Okay. Let's berserk this one. Let's play a French. Or Queen's Gambit declined. If no, e4. I'm willing to trade Queens. No, he doesn't want a Queen trade. Wait. Let's trade again. He still doesn't want a Queen trade. I'm attacking this pawn. He can take on c4 now. I'm not good at predicting this guy's moves. Okay, you're attacking c3. See if he takes on d5 with the bishop. Take with the queen. And then I'm going to swing the queen over to h5 and maybe bishop h2. I'm thinking. Uh, ooh, okay, let's just castle. So knight c7 isn't as big of an issue. Let's see if he dives in anyways. He might. No, nope. decides to withdraw that piece. I want to make him nervous with the pseudo threat of bishop takes h2, even though it's not a real threat. His knight is covering that square. Let's try to win some time back. Okay, now we got a trade. I'm going to win this guy. So I'm up a pawn. Uh, debatable how much it's worth. B2 is hanging. I probably should have taken that. Let's take it if you insist. Let's see if he pushes that 5. I have 10 seconds left. i got to fly. Let's see if we can go B5 next. If he takes twice on B5, I have bishop A6. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see if he takes here. Because okay, now, now I get a3 in. That looks pretty good. Even if he goes and tries to win f7. Like with rook f1, let's say. Yeah, I think we're going to get him on the clock. He's taking a little bit too long. Yep, one on time. Okay, back to tournament. The Prodigy has preserved this game too. d5 pre-move. Knight f6, yeah. c5, all right. We're playing something aggressive. We're going to go bishop into h3. And then we're going to throw our h-pawn at him. h5, h4, caveman chess, you know? 
g5. We're still getting after him. g4, why not? Why not? Let's see if he takes on h3. We'll take back, of course. This king will always be open. We're castling queenside. Let's take here. <laughs> the rooks looks really funny on h4, but it's probably okay. Queen f5 next move, maybe? Threatening e5? I guess I could have taken e5 on the previous move because this queen was no longer defending it. Okay, this looks juicy. Knight f3 check coming. Uh, let's push g3, see if we can get him to take... Take here, check. Oh boy, knight g3, winning the house. Queen g4 next move. Where's he going? Is that checkmate? I think it is. Yep, nice little checkmate there at the end. 37 points. Nine minutes remaining. Hmm. Definitely a different sort of crowd later at night. Nuwanga. Okay, so he late joined. We've got a real player on our hands. 2244. I'm going to do a little double fianchetto action. See how this turns out. Rook AD1, Knight D5 coming. That sort of stuff. Played him before. Um, actually, in my previous bullet tournament on Lee Chess, I think I played him a couple times. Good player. Seems quite competent. Um, let's go for F4, sure. And then maybe trade here, or maybe E4 next move. Maybe I want my king on H2. Oh, but I can take here a check and then Queen B2. Yikes, this looks bad for him. Is there a knockout, though? I guess that remains to be seen. Let's go g4. Try to go g5. I mean, this looks downright awful for him. Maybe knight takes was good. Let's take and then... Hmm. Maybe rook h1 I can attempt to get in. Hmm. Take here. I have queen c2 when I want it. So right now I'm hitting the rook. Let's give a check first of all. If I take queen takes queen h7, that's got to be a win. Uh, I'm not I'm not certain though about that. I'm not going to risk it. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. Okay, let's take. I'm just simplifying a little bit. Coordinate with our queen and rook. Um, okay, f4. g5 maybe to come. Let's give a check here. Yeah, okay. Maybe I could have won a little faster there, but... Um, I don't know. Never felt like we were in danger. He did get some counterplay towards the end, though. All right, Prodigy. Let's play e4 in this one. Berserk time. We got a Karo Khan on our hands. Bishop g4, what's that about? Pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Guess he mouse slipped. All right, Queen e5. I'm hitting the Rook. If Rook g8, I have Knight f6. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Hopefully I don't get my queen trapped. Um, okay, let's go here. If he takes b2, at least I can play rook d1. Still trying to avoid getting my queen trapped. I think I succeeded in that. I have 11 seconds left, though. Man. Man, oh man. Got to develop g3, bishop h3. Castle. Attack the queen. Pin him. Man, this is going to be really tough. Like 6.7 seconds left. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's go c6 next move. 
If he takes, I have a lot of pressure coming down on C7. I already do, actually. Oh, man. Bishop check. Oh, got the flag. <laughs> it was so messy at the end. I did have one and a half seconds left towards the end there. Wow, that was that guy was tough though. Yeah, he even though he blundered a piece with Bishop G4 early on, he was really pressuring me on the clock. Another berserk going on here. I never know when to pre-move when I'm berserking. Like I feel like I should pre-move more than I do, but um, I don't know. Being conservative with the pre-moves has has helped me in the past, but I think when you're berserking, you got to change your strategy a little bit, you know. Okay, I'm going to play rook c8, bishop back to b8, and then queen d6 and hope to mate him on h2. That is my sole plan at this juncture. I hope he doesn't see it. Wish came true. Okay. That's happened so many times. <laughs> Berserk and like mate someone on h2 or h7. 51 points. Russell Hans again. Not going to berserk. He's probably going to do the same setup as last time. And he did blunder a pawn the last go around, so hoping for a repeat of that. Like, e4 is just a pawn blunder, as far as I can tell. Take here, and then take again. Yeah, he has nothing to show for it. Um, let's put the rook here. Let's put the bishop. Oh, he has c4. Forgot about c4. Okay, let's go bishop here. I am covering the d8 square at least. Knight a6. Okay, so maybe that could have come back to uh, bite me a little bit. I'm going to bring the king over to e8. And just cover that d7 square. Maybe rook d8 thereafter. Pin him. Um, uh, okay, I guess I'll trade. Fine. Ooh, hung a rook. All right, but yeah, if he would have played c4 when I was aligned on the d-file, like I had that uh, bishop on, what was it, d5, and the other bishop was on d8. Feedback, please, says, where's chess bra and Hayam Gosu when you need him? <laughs> Good question. Yeah, I haven't seen those guys in a tournament recently, but then again, I haven't been online a whole lot. I've just been online to play these tournaments, and that's about it. Those guys stream a lot. Um, okay, I'll go here and attack b2. Maybe rook d8. Hmm. He hung the queen. Knight d5, next move. Let's see if we can swap knights. Take that off his hands. g6, maybe bishop h6, hit e3. Okay, he's attacking my queen, so I gotta move it. develop here. We can pre-move that. Let's bring this out of the way just so he can't harass it any further. I'm going to let him take on e6 if he wants because that leads to exchanges, which I'm obviously happy with. Okay, this is mate in a couple. Take here and then come in with the mate after g3. Back to tournament. Uh, minute and 20 left. We got 60 points. It's a great score for a 25 minute tournament, but let's see if we can get one more in maybe. Haven't played Nacho Soto yet. Oh, hello, Jefferson. Uh, playing one of my students right now. Maybe Benko Gambit. Yeah, let's play G6. It's hard playing your students because uh, there's lines that you've recommended to them <laughs> that, they, that they play. Um, and they're good lines. I would never recommend anything to my student that I wouldn't play myself. Um, so that's what I'm up against right now. Although he's kind of misplayed it a little bit. He doesn't want to give up the light square bishop. That's not a good idea. We'll have to talk about that, Jefferson. Uh, I can take on d5. That pawn is hanging. His bishop interferes. I'll take this too. So now I've got the pair of bishops. This looks good. Let's play c4. Just so he can't play c4 and support his knight again. Bring the queen up. Looks pretty good. If this knight moves, let's go here. So now his knights are kind of stepping on each other's toes. What about e5? Let's play rook b6 first, though. 
I just double up. Hmm. I'm going to cover this one. Go d5. These pieces are very awkward. I'm not quite sure how I want to take advantage or if I can take advantage. Um, hmm. Okay, let's bring this over. Let's go here. If he plays f4, I have bishop takes f4 is the thing. Okay, now I'm going to crash through on e3. Yeah, he just resigned. Um, the tournament's over, so I can show that. But if we go back for a second, because um, I played this line myself, as I was saying. Right about here, rook a3 is a good move. And after bishop b7, I think he should just play e4 or bishop c4. I think taking on a6 is kind of what black wants, because then I get to take with my knight. And yeah, certainly white should not do this, because then it's hard for white to castle that bishop bearing down. So... All right, um, back to tournament. So uh, we won with 60 points. You get to hear the magical music. Berserked in over half our game, so berserking way more than I'm used to. And I worked hard for my nine rating points. <laughs> I'll take it. Book any rating point win. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.